Neyland Stadium in Knoxville, one of the great venues in all of college football and home to the Tennessee Volunteers in this crowd. Those that when the balls run through the tee, they are in for a show. Today, a couple of SEC teams get ready to square off in what ought to be an old-fashioned slobber knocker. As we'll see, the Mississippi State Bulldogs taking on the seventh-ranked team in the land, the Tennessee Volunteers. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollack, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. Mississippi State about to boot it away as we start the festivities. Coming out with it, it's Selden. Rolling the dice to bring it out of the end zone did not work out as he stopped at the 13. The Volunteers' offense will have plenty of work to do after that return was bottled up. And here he comes, guys, the man who makes everything go. Everything in this offense is built around his ability. He's got such great field vision. He's got it all. He is must-watch TV. Let's not get it twisted. People show up to this stadium. People are watching back at home because of this guy right here. And offenses want to continue to feature the run. They want balance. Even if it's not super successful, you can take it a little bit at a time just to keep that defense honest. And the Volunteers headed quickly to the line. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. Unloads to the wideout. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. Another big play on the outside, and that's the thing that historically has gotten Rocky Top rolling. Yes, yeah, so much fun to watch playmakers outside that they can run by you and go make big plays. Opens up the whole field, the whole offense, and this Orange fan base goes absolutely bananas. Just sort of a relentless run, getting everything that was available to him, and they'll mark him down at the 40. Small gain, I know, but again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass, make him onto the run game. you got to do a lot of this. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. The play action fake. He hurls one deep down the left side. Oh, right through his hand. They came out attacking, wanted to impose their will, and they missed a big chance on that one. And I love taking deep shots. I think it makes cornerbacks play honest, safeties play honest, and you could tell just missed a little bit deep on that shot. But listen, those are shots that we want to take because the risk is definitely worth the reward. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. This time, it's complete. Dragged down to the turf, but not before getting the first down. These two guys, just on the same wavelength, they make clutch connections all the time. And that's practice, man. That's all summer. That's all spring. Just so many hundreds and hundreds and thousands of balls where you know exactly when that guy's going to break. You know he's a stud. You're going to feed him, especially on these third down situations. To the air, it's Iamaleava. That was an eyelash away from being picked off, and that is not the way to set the tone with a near pick on your opening drive. And that's why these guys played defense. If that were an offensive player or receiver, that would have easily have been a catch. Come on, man. You've got to catch that and make that a pick. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. Now the play fake. Getting some heat. Find his big tight end. They'll give him four on that one. It's third and six. I don't know who on defense is going to cover this guy. Honestly, he could be a problem for this defense over the middle of the field in the passing game. Here comes the seventh play of this opening drive. They've moved it well, but now facing third down. Motion trying to get the defense to show his hand. Grabbed in the middle. It's McCoy. 
And oh, he was off to the races after the catch, and they finally drag him down. Third down, a lot of times it comes down to not necessarily who's the most open, who do you trust the most? No, it's not about the X's and the O's. It's about the Jimmy's and the Joe's. And, and when my guy's better than you and I get you matched up out wide and I know I trust you, I'm finding you. Movement here from the tight end. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. And the defense doing a great job committing to the run. When you commit to the run like this, obviously you can give up some plays in the passing game, but you got to stop the run first. The Vols want to crank the tempo. Dropping back, it's Iamaleava. Now he's going to glide away from pressure. He gets the job done, picking up the first down, then getting down. He does a good job of dropping back, going through his progressions. Nothing there. What do I do? Go get some yards. Make it positive. Don't sit back in the pocket and force something into a bad situation or take a sack. Great job making something out of nothing. The Volunteers have it with a first and ten. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. And he's sprinting. He'll take it all the way. Touchdown, Volunteer! And they just keep feeding it to their workhorse back to open this game. Great job in the open field. He's got tremendous vision. He can make people miss. You saw all of that on display here in the opening drive. He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point makes it 7 nothing. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the run from inside his own five. Good job by the coverage unit to put a stop to that return. So Mississippi State's offense headed onto the field. Our first look at them today. How about this crowd rattling the Raptors and trying to help their defense? He'll keep it himself. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Really, really nice football play. Man, I got to understand option football. I got to play my responsibility, make sure that I know what I'm doing. Look at the linebacker. Great job doing that. Staying patient, getting to the quarterback, making the big tackle. The roar of the crowd trying to fuel this defense to keep them pinned in their own end. Quarterback on the keeper. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. Well, the QB decided to keep it on that one. And listen, if you had his athleticism, you'd want to keep it, too. Almost every time they run these types of option plays. But he's just going to have to do a good job of understanding when to hand it off, when to pitch it, and try to keep this defense on their heels and read his keys. He's got a lot of talent. Just got to make sure he's making the right decisions moving forward. On third down, going up top. Got it in the middle. It's Lee. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. Quarterbacks are just like anybody else. They get in rhythms. And to get in the rhythm early on third down and have a little success here and get the sticks moving, great chance to continue to get this offense moving down the field to get some more points. From the gun, they'll try the middle. You know, runs like this oftentimes are like a boxer in a boxing match. Obviously, it's not a knockout punch, but these are body blows. And as the game goes on, these small gains are going to turn into longer runs. And the Bulldogs in the hurry up. He 
he'll pull it on the read. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. How about the defensive end understanding football? Understanding that I got to keep outside contained. I'm responsible for the quarterback. Good job playing his responsibility. And how about getting that sucker on the ground? He's a pretty good athlete to be able to corral him, tackle him right in the middle of the field and get him to the ground. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. Oh, and he gets downfield for the big catch. He's loose down the middle. And he ran away from the defense to take it in. Touchdown, Mississippi State. This is a special talent playing the tight end position because he's not a guy that's just going to catch flat routes and block. He's a guy you can line up all over the field. He can stretch the field vertically, shows off his speed. He has very rare athleticism for a guy at his position, and he showed it there on that long touchdown catch. Getting set for the point after. Hit that one with some aggression for the point after. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they finished with a 62-yard pass for the score. After that latest answer, tied things up. Just about set to kick it away again. Fielded in the end zone. It's Bishop. He's brought down at the 16. Would have been much better off to take the touchback. Tennessee ready to go to work the big orange offense on the field. How about that last drive? Just carved him up in the air, David. Yeah, and how about that quarterback? You gave him the ball, and he delivered the goods. Great job taking apart the defense, Jesse, on that last drive. He really did, David. I mean, that was a master class in just reading coverage and being accurate. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. The back goes in motion. Looking to throw. It's Ia Maliava. Buys a little extra time. Nifty little scamper on this one. Enough for the first down. And he slides in safely. Hey, listen, it's important at that position to be able to be good off schedule. Everything's easy when it's on time. You can get the ball out. But when things break down and they get off schedule, you've got to have a guy back there that can make the right decisions. He did exactly that. They'll snap this one from the 30 on first and 10. They'll move the running back to try to force the defense to adjust. Caught behind the line. It's Sampson. They were able to get the ball to the running back in space, but that space just evaporated. And a great job by the defense, man. It's tough to get those guys on the ground. They're so used to being having the football as running backs and making plays and being dynamic. So usually one guy not going to get into the ground. You want many guys swarming to the football to try to get that elusive guy on the ground. He leaves it with his back. And the freshman does a great job using his technique and getting the man on the ground. They're strong and they're scrawl. Defensive tackles, they're scrawl. They're such big jokers in the middle where they just lock out those offensive linemen. And running backs, listen, they don't have much of a chance. When you got that 300-plus pound guy grabbing you around the shoulder pad, you tend to go to the ground pretty quickly. He'll do it himself. Brought to the ground, but not before getting it up for the first down. There's an example of the offense taking advantage of all the attention the defense is giving this outstanding running back. Remember, he's one of the best in the game. They're expecting him to get the football. So the quarterback says, you know what? I'll just keep it. No one's keying on me. I'm going to get upfield and find an explosive play. They'll run it out of the shotgun. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. I like feeding my guy. I like getting my running back touches, feeding him the ball so he can break some of those big runs. But I'm also okay with these little ones. Set the tone, stay balanced. And the Vols want to pick up the tempo. Scanning the field, it's Iamaleava. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. 
Well, the short passing game is a great go-to for any offensive coordinator in the first quarter because it's reliable, but it also allows you to see how the defense is going to react and play. So this can certainly open things up later on. Third and short coming here right from the midfield stripe. Off the RPO, fire right, trying to convert. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see which way that's going to go. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Looking for a gap. It's Sampson. Nice job to pick up the first down, and they'll spot it at the 42. And they just kind of sneak that one in there as a defensive guy, third and five plus. I'm thinking pass. They were thinking pass Palmer, and they slipped the run in. And it's so nice then to have this guy at running back too, right? Because you could throw it to him on third down or hand it off, and he's got the vision and the athleticism to go pick up that first, keep the drive going. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Just too much of a rush, and down goes the quarterback just behind the midfield stripe at the 49. Oftentimes with play action, you're asking the quarterback to hold on to the ball a bit longer, and you're asking this offensive line to hold up and pass pro a bit longer. Against this athletic front seven on defense, it's going to be tough. This drive was rolling, and then it got thrown into reverse. Here's a second and 18. They'll leave it with him. Able to pick his way forward for a decent game before the defense gets him down. It's going to be important this offensive line is able to get a little bit of push. Just got to give this guy an inch, a little crease, and he can make yards for it. They'll snap it for the 10th time on this drive, but they need a chunk on third and long. Dropping back, it's Iamaleava. Looking down the middle. He's got an open man. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. Well, Reese, you and I were talking about this before the game. How is this defense going to be able to deal with all the speed they have offensively? You saw them just rip off a big play. And, Jesse, now their head's spinning just a little bit. Give up a big chunk play, and it's right back at them. They're threatening to score, and they'll throw it. Quick completion on the out. And he goes out of bounds after a nice pickup on that one. Yeah, and just understanding where you're at on the field, make sure you get those feet down before you get too close to that sideline. So I get credit for that catch. Nice job. Nice pitch. Nice catch. And the Volunteers racing to the line in the hurry up. Quick strike complete. That throw and catch gets them down to the six, and the defense is running out of answers. Take the profit, right? Pitch and catch. Defense and zone coverage. Receivers got some access. Just spit it out to him. Let him catch it and advance and get what he can get. Tight quarters deep in the red zone, but they can pick up a first down without scoring. Third down. Back to the air one more time. He's moving out of the pocket. And the pressure gets him back at the eight-yard line. Well, you just sort of felt like this defense had to do something to get this quarterback out of a rhythm, right? He's been picking them apart all drive long, and finally, they come up with a sack. And now on fourth down, they'll try a field goal from the left hash, and this distance ought to make that angle pretty easy to handle. Going right down the boulevard. There is a flag down on the play. Now, if this is on the defense, the offense will have to decide whether to take the points off the board. You must protect the kicker when he's in a defenseless position like that. That penalty's going to give the offense a first down. The give to the tailback. 
They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And lost ground on first down, now second and goal from the five. The option look. Now the pitch. And he'll get this one back to the line of scrimmage, but no farther than that. It's looking like they're going to have to throw this one in now on third down, David. And you know the execution just has to be spot on. Timing especially at the quarterback position here. And thinking about the defense, they're aggressive in these situations. They're going to play man. They're going to play up tight on you. So I know that. Now how do I counter punch and attack this ball? And the heat gets there. And they get him down at the 14-yard line. We have the early makings of a quarterback duel, as these stats will show you. We've got a good one going here and looking forward to keep those vibes rolling here in the second. And we'll start the second quarter as they try to hang up a three spot. And the kicker delivers the three to salvage that drive. And guys, after the field goal, now they have the lead. will try to shut him down and he takes this from inside the five nice job by the kickoff team everybody stayed in their lanes and they'll stop him at the 16 here comes the bulldog offense back onto the field boy david they would love to stack another touchdown on top of that last drive and this offense did such a good job on the last drive everything in rhythm moved the ball down the field didn't make those mistakes jesse and they need to do it again on this one. yeah you're right they had the defense on their heels you wonder what sort of communication was going on that sideline what sort of changes were they able to make because they got to stop the bleeding right now. if they're going to get anything going on this drive they better be productive here on second and long from the 10. he locked up and held on to bring him down and I can't tell you how much I love seeing corners being willing to come up and tackle. That is so huge for a defense. You can't olay blocks and create space. You can't just hang out on the outside. you got to go set that edge. And conversely, I can't tell you how much I hate it when receivers don't want to block. you got to do a better job on the perimeter. It's not going to be enough in this offense just to catch passes. You've got to go execute your assignment. That corner should have been blocked, and they should have gotten a bigger gain on that outside run. Great job rallying to the football by this defense. Third down, QB's trying to extend the play, but great team speed on defense now setting up four. So Mississippi State will have to punt this one away. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. Gets it away, good distance, but more importantly, just the direction he wanted. The volunteer offense is back, and they hope it's touchdown time in Tennessee. Always good to get points on a drive, David, but chip shot field goals can leave you a little empty. And I think it's great to get points, but the great teams get touchdowns in the red area. you got to get out there this time and execute a little better on this drive. You're absolutely right, David. Generally, the best red zone offenses are the ones that run the ball the best. So let's see if they can be a little bit more physical on this drive. The Vols are in the hurry up. Give to the running back. Gets it all the way down to the 39-yard line. It'll be a first down. The Big Orange churning out those first downs on the ground, sort of like Arian Foster used to do. Yeah, you couldn't write the script any better. Just pound the ball, establish the run game, opens up the play action exactly how you want to run your offense. They'll snap it from the 39, first and 10.
sets it out quickly. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. Well, this tight end, he's got size and he's got some athleticism, and he's very difficult to cover one-on-one. -on -one. Defense is going to have their hands full with them today. Looking to push the pace with the no huddle. He'll keep it himself. And a good, solid pickup before the defense cuts him down. Yeah, and after the QB calls his own number and all these options, obviously multiple plays, he decides to stick with it, get some positive yards, and, and now what's next off of that? What's my next read off of that? How am I going to mix things up and keep this defense off balance? A third down play coming from the 32 as they try to keep the drive going. They'll try to get the first through the air. They're working that left side. He'll come through on third downs. He's got enough, and they'll mark it at the 23. All right, defense. It ain't working, right? They're stringing together several first downs here. We're going to need to change this up, find something we can disrupt the quarterback and, and mess up this offense a little bit. The Volunteers are on the move. He's got the tight end. And that defense is there to guide him out of bounds after a short game. It must be nice for this quarterback knowing he's got this type of athlete playing the tight end position. They can work the middle of the field for him. He's a guy who can stretch it vertically as well, but this is a guy the QB will look for early and often in this game. Offense gets set for second down. Back to throw. It's Iamaleava. Finds his big tight end. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. Hey, we're getting close to halftime, and it looks as if the big fella wants to be all over the highlights. Goodness gracious. He, he is open. When he leaves the huddle, apparently he's open. A ton of catches already early in this ball game. They are featuring him and finding him. A run to the right. He is tackled, but it'll be a fresh set of downs. Well, it just seems like everything is working for the offense on this drive. Another nice game, this time on the ground. And the balls come to the line in the hurry up. Calls his own number. And he'll race it to the house. Touchdown, Tennessee! And that's what makes this quarterback so dangerous, fellas. He can hurt you throwing the ball, but man, is he ever dangerous and explosive with his feet. You have got to be able to get this guy on the ground. If you don't, he has got way too much wiggle and speed. You saw it right there. Lining up to add another. And with the extra point, they're now up by a touchdown and a field goal at 10. They just finished off a 53-yard scoring drive. And it was capped off with the 8-yard run. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. He'll bring it back from inside his five. And the return man is stopped, and that'll leave it up to the offense on the next drive. Okay, so here comes the offense returning to the field. Using the quick game. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. That is an excellent throw by the quarterback, finding the window between the zones and delivering that ball on time. They'll snap it from the 25 here on first down. Quarterback flips it ahead quickly to the receiver. Now after that run, they're in pretty good shape at the 30-yard line. And these little 
little touch passes, man. They're just the easiest completions ever for quarterbacks. Palmer, I bet you would have loved being able to just flip it forward. That counts as to your completion percentage, which is good. And then it's all right up to the catch, so pretty easy for a QB. You wouldn't have been the only All-American in this booth game if I were allowed to have push passes <laughs> when I was playing quarterback. I'll tell you that. It is so hard to defend. It's so hard to seal that edge, especially when this guy's full speed ahead coming around the inside. And he'll have enough for the first down at the 42. Well, with the weapons this offense has, you knew it was just a matter of time in the run game before someone was going to break a long one. They'd just been running into a wall. They just couldn't seem to find their creases and get enough movement up front, but they finally got it there, picking up the first. Let's see what happens next. Mississippi State to the line with a fresh set of downs. Trying to find his man on first down. It's caught. Big play for this offense as they get it to the 32. Man, if I'm a defense, i got to find a way to get some more pressure on the quarterback or disrupt their timing and their rhythm. I can't give them these big chunk plays through the air. i got to be maybe a little bit more aggressive or do something a little bit different. Mississippi State going up tempo. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. Got rid of it just in time. Hit hard as he released the ball on that first down pass, and it never had a chance. He didn't have a whole lot of time to get rid of that one. The defense was all over him right after the snap. No wonder that thing fell in. After the incompletion, here comes second and 10 from the 32. Hand off from the shotgun. Nice move to keep running. Makes the tackle right at the 21-yard line. Pickup of 10 on the play, and this offense is threatening with a first down. Well, the offense knew what they needed to get that first down, so they dial up the running play, and they get just enough to keep the drive alive. Just outside the red zone, first and 10 from the 21. Might as well give it to him again. And excellent vision to find running room there and make a really good pickup before the defense put a stop to it. Well, right away after picking up the first down, they go right back to their playmaker at running back. And I love the push they got up front, getting a hat on a hat, opening a huge hole for the back. And you become so hard to defend when you can run the football successfully on first down. You're starting like that. Now what opens up? Play action. Now you're making me play pass and run. This offense, if they can create that run physicality, now it opens up everything else. You know, it's difficult for QB sometimes when you're throwing to your running backs because they're not receivers. You really got to be perfect with the ball placement. You got to make that a catchable throw. A little bit too tough for the RB on that Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. And he dropped it, just didn't look the thing all the way in. Well, the quarterback had the look he wanted. He had his big fella down here in the red zone. That's supposed to be an easy pitch and catch, but his buddy puts it on the floor. You can't hear yourself think on third and goal to throw it's shaping let's it fly and he really wanted to get the touchdown there but it's incomplete nice job by the defense they're mixing up their look they're third and long in field goal range they go zone coverage so everybody on the back end has the eye on the quarterback and they're able to break on the ball force the incompletion and if the kicker can put one through this will be a successful drive and he'll boot one from the right hash. He ought to be able to navigate that angle from this distance. And that is no good. Guys, that field goal could loom large, missing an opportunity to get within a touchdown. We're still sitting on a 10-point game. offense on the field that last drive really productive David wound up with a touchdown they'll try to do it again yeah so I don't expect this fires one high and deep and it's incomplete they were looking for the huge gain on first down a 
after the misfire now on second down. Leaves it with the back. And he knocked him down after a gain of three to the 23. And those physical runs take a toll. It might not be a big game now, but down the road, third, fourth quarter, late in the ball games, they tend to turn into bigger runs. And the Volunteers want to move quickly. Quarterback on the keeper. And how about that alertness and that swarming D to keep him from getting the first down? You know, I really like this QB running the football because I know he's got a lot of speed, but he's not the biggest guy in the world. So he's not going to be able to break a lot of tackles. you really got to do a good job of trying to scheme ways to get him out in more space. The Vols will send out the punt unit. Perhaps feeling that coverage coming signals for the fair catch and makes it at the 25. Here comes the Mississippi State offense ready to attack. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. This defense has a lot of speed, especially in the secondary, and you saw that speed. That defender got to that receiver so quick, and because of the hit, incomplete pass. Last play didn't go as planned. Now second and 10 from the 26. From the gun, he leaves it with the back. Oh, it's out! The offense somehow fell on it, and they'll retain possession. Man, and this is why you practice five points of pressure with the football. You cannot put the ball on the ground. It doesn't matter how many defenders are around you or how hard you get hit. You cannot turn the football over and expect to win games. It'll be third and short from their own 33. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. Fires to the tight end. Such a big part to convert these third downs, and they've got it at the 42. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. To the ground with the back. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. And that's a really nice play. It's impressive. When it's first down and the defense thinks you might be running the football, you still can line up and get some movement at the point of attack and find a little crease for your running. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. On the run, it's Booth. And he's swallowed up at the line of scrimmage by the big defensive tackle. That back had absolutely nowhere to run the football. Actually, is he counting? I think he's counting to make sure there's only 11 guys on defense. The D thinking bring some heat on third and long from the 44. Wants to throw. It's shaping. Quickly complete. He's got enough to move the chains, and they'll spot it at the 47. Wow, and what a great job by that quarterback finding his open receiver on third down. You know, guys, one of the most telling stats at the end of the game is third down conversion percentage. If you're a great third down team, it's invaluable to your offensive success, and that's why teams drill third down so much in practice. He'll pull it on the read. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Nice job playing assignment football by that defensive end. Knowing what my job is, not letting that quarterback get out, get loose, making a good play, and most importantly, being there in the right spot and getting him on the ground. Mississippi State right back to the line. Give to the back. And they'll bring him down after a short pickup. Man, that D-tackle is a freak athlete. Did you see him come out of his stance and beat the offensive lineman, getting to the running back? Cat-like quickness. And guys, they've come through on the first two third-down tries. This one might be a little tougher. From the gun, wants to pass. Feeling some heat. And that pressure just engulfed him. A sack for this defense. 
And that time, the defense dialed up a free safety blitz. They were able to get an extra number in the pass rush. Offensive line, running backs, they couldn't account for it. And that free safety able to get to the quarterback. We've made our way to the two-minute warning, and now they'll try to at least cut a little something off of this lead before the break. Mississippi State will roll out the punt unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. On the move, it's White. They'll get him down at the 21-yard line. The coverage team able to stop him right there. The volunteer offense is back, and they hope it's touchdown time in Tennessee. They've been the height of efficiency here in the first half, David, and you've got to think they're going to try to click it right down the field here. When you're looking at your playbook and it's worked so well in the first half, I'm going to continue to do what I've been doing, Palmer, because it's been all gas. Pollock, that's right. Strike while the iron's hot, too. Before this defense gets to go in at halftime to potentially make some adjustments, show you some different looks in the second half, whatever you've been doing, it's working. Keep it up. On second down, he'll try to make the connection. He lobs one high down the left side. And they can't hook up. Going for the big play on second down. Now it's third down. I know that shot down the field was incomplete. But you've got to keep taking shots. Those receivers love to go deep. It gives them a breath of fresh air. They get more excitement. They're going to the quarterback with a little bit more juice because you know you're feeding them. So I would keep taking deep shots down the field. Looking for space. It's Sampson. And he broke one tackle on the way to a solid pickup there. There's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. The Volunteers will punt this one away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Everybody stays in their lanes well enough, and they stop him at the 31-yard line. The Mississippi State offense headed back to the field to go to work. To the air, it's Chapin. Getting late here in the first half, they'll have a chance to make this a one-possession game. And the offensive play caller here has to really be dialed in. It's important, down two possessions, Dave, that they're able to score some points, and you've got to call your best stuff in this two-minute situation. And it's such a good opportunity to cut into a one-score game, create that momentum, get some good juices going for the second half, because obviously, you know, you built yourself a little bit of a deficit. You need some good things to happen, and it needs to happen on this possession. kinds of time in the pocket down the middle it goes he got loose almost housed it finally dragged down at the 32 love the play call by the offensive coordinator always love being aggressive and trying to take shots but that play worked because there was zero pressure coming from the defense quarterback had all day to scan the field they might be thinking back to back big plays after that last one first and 10 from the 32 throws to the wideout and it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge game if he could have held on. Quarterback could not have walked that ball. And placed it into the hands of his receiver any better. That was a perfect throw. Wide out, deep downfield. You got to finish the play. After the incompletion, here comes second and 10 from the 32. Misfired on the last play. They'll go back to the air. And the quarterback will be slung down back at the 43. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Got his man downfield. The defense going to stop the clock with a timeout. They want to make sure they have everybody on the same page. You know, sometimes when you're throwing against zone coverage, you need time for the routes to develop. So nice job by the quarterback there, being patient, allowing his receivers to work themselves out. Knocked it right through, showing that big range from 48 yards out.
So they put the field goal on the board and about to kick it away and hoping that'll be the final points of this first half. From inside the 10, here he comes. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage and he'll be stopped at the 17. Tennessee ready to go to work the big orange offense on the field. Looking to move it through the air. Almost had the completion, just missed it. Yeah, and you use these running backs so much in the passing game now, and you expect him to make those plays for you, to make those big explosive plays out of the backfield. Just got to make sure he concentrates and see that ball come in. They'll spread the defense out going five wide on second and ten. After the incompletion, they go back up top. Fires to the wide out. Got him downfield. The offense wastes no time getting the timeout call. Great job by the quarterback thrown against zone coverage. You cannot telegraph where you're throwing the football. You cannot eyeball wide receiver. So great job by the quarterback using his eyes, not staring down his guy, and then throwing him open. He puts a lot of air under it down the sideline. And it's incomplete. Good play downfield by the DB. DB does an outstanding job here on the deep pass. Locating the football, no P.I., able to swat it away, pass incomplete. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. Back to throw, it's Iamaleava. Unloads to the wideout. Pass is incomplete, and we dwindle down to seven seconds. Yeah, that was a good play on the ball, getting his hand up and getting the tip, getting the deflection. The ball bounces up in the air, falls to the ground, incomplete pass. Ball is at the 41 as this defense tries to force the punt on third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Fires to the middle. And the pass, it's picked off! And they get the takeaway and prevent points from going up just before the end of the half. And that's just excellent coverage. Man, cover one, nowhere to throw the football. Look at everybody playing man across the board, and you still got the safety in the middle of the field. Nobody open, and if I'm the QB man, I don't need to force it. I don't force it into tight windows if it's not there. He throws it, unfortunately, gets the interception. Bad decision by the QB there. One more snap coming before halftime. They'll throw it on first down. They're looking deep down the right side. Pass is incomplete, and that's going to do it for the first half. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Guys, you've been calling a great one today in Knoxville so far. And we've got to start our halftime breakdown with this superstar running back. His elusiveness, his raw power. This young man is the total package, and his ability to catch the ball out of the backfield is a differentiator. A lot of guys can hit the hole. This kid can hit the hole and hit the home run in the passing game. With that said, let's send it back to the guys at Neyland Stadium. And the Vols will kick it off to start the second half. He'll start the return inside his spot. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Here comes the Bulldog offense back onto the field. They'll keep it on the ground to start the second half. Gets it out to the 20 after a pickup of four. I think one of the hardest things to do is stick to the run when it's not working. But it's those runs right there that are the reason why you have to do it, right? You can't get too one-dimensional. You keep slipping those runs in there. Keep getting a little bit of positive yards. Next thing you know, you look up and you might break one of those if you got them a little bit tighter. Give to the running back. Keeps it moving for a three-yard gain to the 24. Mississippi State going up tempo. Here comes the option. 
And the defense had his hands full, but they finally wrestle him down short of the first down. You know, this offensive line, they just got to hold their blocks a little bit longer. This offense likes to run their quarterback on design plays. And if you can just give them a little crease, he can take it the distance, but they couldn't get it done there. So Mississippi State will have to punt this one away. Looking for a block. It's White. This guy is a daring punt return man. He's not going to settle for the fair catch. A solid return gets a little bit of ground for the offense. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. Well, this offense came into the game knowing they wanted to be physical. They wanted to establish the line of scrimmage. And they're running downhill right at this defense. And they're churning out positive yardage early. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. Out of the gun. The running back has it. A strong tackle and wrap-up from the junior. This offensive line better figure out a plan for this D-tackle. He is tough to block with one guy. You might want to start double-teaming him. He's going to be a problem moving forward. You saw all of his ability on that last play. They'll snap it from the 48 on third and short. He'll do it himself. They've got it inside the 40 at the 39 as they pick up the first down. Ooh, I like that option play. I'd keep running that, too, because it's obvious. The defense right now is really keying in on this running back. That was a big point of emphasis for them all week long in practice, and it's opening up holes now for the quarterback to run. And the Volunteers will have it first and 10. On the ground it's Sampson and he was able to get away from one tackle but plenty of help was on the way decent pickup on that play I think tackling is about effort most of the time it's about how much passion how much physicality you can bring to get your guy on the ground refuse not to get him on the ground that's not a big back you got to get that guy on the ground you can't let him pick up an extra couple yards and stay ahead of the sticks And they've got him looking run now to pass. Time running out, and he goes down at the 34. This defense, they are tenacious, and they've got guys up front that are athletic and that are so strong and then can collapse the pocket. You saw it right there in that play action attempt. The Vols will hustle to the line. Looking to throw at Iamaleava. Right down the middle. Almost intercepted, and what a momentum swing that could have been, but they still force a fourth down. Got to give the defense credit on that play, taking everything away, forcing the incompletion. Now it's decision time. Fourth and short, and you're in field goal range. What do you do here? And for the second time tonight, they'll trot out the field goal kicker. Looks as if this will be a 51-yard attempt. It's good. Easy call for the refs. And that will extend their lead even further. Well, that kid just showed off his hammer for a leg. 50-plus, and he did it with ease. Putting up the field goal, they're set to kick it away. Looking for those open spaces and opportunity. And the return man has no place to run, no place to hide, and a place to be tackled. Here comes the Mississippi State offense, ready to attack. The deficit here is just 10 points, David, so a chance to answer here. Plenty of time left in this football game. No need to panic. This offense just has to put a couple drives together. And listen, the defense will get this back and get some stock forward and get you the football back. And I think, I think here too, David, you have an opportunity to keep the pressure on the opponent. Yeah, they just went down and scored, but you score here, and this game's still tight. You keep their feet to the fire, so an opportunity here to keep applying that pressure. He'll keep it himself. And they'll stop him after a minimal pickup. 
quarterbacks generally, guys, we know, they're not as big and not as physical runners as running backs. So it is going to be trickier for them to break tackles. I like the idea of getting the design quarterback run game going. But moving forward, let's see if we can get him out to the perimeter. And this offense can ill afford to come up empty on this drive, already trailing by multiple possessions. They'll run for it on third and short. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. Mississippi State will roll out the punt unit. On the return, it's White. They'll put a stop to that return at about the 37-yard line. The volunteer offense is back, and they hope it's touchdown time in Tennessee. Man, how comforting is it to know that even if your offense stalls out a little, Jesse, that field goal kicker can knock it in from a long way out. Well, he's one of the best in the country, Reese, no doubt. But this offense would like him and prefer for him to kick an extra point on this drive. And to do that, David, they've got to have more rhythm on the offense. Yeah, create some more rhythm, create some more explosive plays, and maybe some more balance. And listen, it's nice to have that weapon and kick long field goals. If you kick too many field goals, you don't get very many Ws. To the air, it's Iamaleava. Makes his connection. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. The Volunteers moving quickly to the line. Leaves it with the running back. Tackle is made, but not until he gets the first down. I love when players understand situations, and they understand where the first down marker is, and they understand where I got to get to. A lot of people you'll see run north-south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure I get an extra set of downs instead of trying to make those big touchdown runs. It's incomplete, and trust me, you will not see that very often from this guy. It's second down. And there's so much for a quarterback to think about. Stick it out in the belly. Do I pull it? Now when I pull it, oh, I got to get my feet set, make an accurate throw to the right guy. So a lot of things going on, and I think that you saw that led to a little bit of inaccuracy. He wants to pass it on second down. Snag in the end zone! Touchdown, ball! Well, that score leaves you with a burning question. Who had that do? Whoever it was wasn't close. No, and the receiver was able to run right by him and, and get to the end zone and, and camp out and put up his tent and build the fire and fill up the coffee pot and just about everything else in time before the guy decided he could get remotely close to him. Lining up for the PAT. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. A very efficient five-way scoring drive. And they finish things up with a dart from 24 yards out. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. On the move from inside is five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Mississippi State offense headed back to the field to go to work. After giving up that score, now it's incumbent on this offense to kind of get a back and forth going, Jesse, in this game. They got to put some points on the board here. There's obviously a lot of football to go, so it's not necessarily panic time just yet, but I'm getting the ball into the hands of my best playmakers on this drive. Uh, I hear you, Jesse, but not panic time. Have you seen my defense? Uh, I mean, I'm not trusting them to get a lot of stops, so it puts a lot of pressure on this offense. 
takes a handoff. It's Boone. A run up the middle is stopped for no gain. Well, this is a defense that we know takes tons of pride stopping the run. That's where it all starts and ends with them, and you saw a great effort on that last play. Mississippi State right back to the line. They move the tight end all over. Off play action. Throws to the wideout. He's open on the right. To the 43-yard line and a first down for this offense. There's a reason third down is called the money down. What a great find by the quarterback. Great job finding his receiver. Uh, at the end of the game, you look at third down percentages. It tells a huge story, and it goes a long way in deciding who wins a football game. Mississippi State comes out after picking up the first down. Looking downfield, it's Shapen. Got his man quickly. And a nine-yard gain on first down leaves him with second and short. Here comes the hurry up. play action fires to the wide out missed his receiver there it's incomplete and this offense just can't afford not to get the first down here already trailing big and the clock is not their friend quick touch pass to the receiver Still running at the 35. And chunk plays are the name of the game. And they get one here before the defense finally makes a stop. Yeah, and way to be creative. Way to get the ball in the perimeter really quickly. Get some speed outside. All you got to do is secure that edge. And you're just trying to get that first down. Nice job. Nice play call by the offense. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Got it in the middle. It's Coleman. They make the stop at the five-yard line, but they've got it first and goal. Well, you're seeing the balance this offense has and how they can create explosive plays in a variety of ways. We just saw one come in the run game, and now you see one coming in the passing game. I'll tell you, they've got this defense on their heels. First and goal, and this feels like their chance to give them a finish. They're going to throw it again. That pressure got to him, and he just had to chuck it out of bounds. Can the defense stop them again on second and goal? They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And now a big third down coming up. Down multiple possessions. This is one, Palmer, I'm looking for six. I'm not trying to kick a field goal. I want to cut into this lead with a touchdown. No, you got to have it. And also, considering all of that, this is four down territory, too. So you need to identify who are your best players on offense and how can you give them a chance to score this touchdown. Wants to fire it in the end zone on third and goal. Right through his hands. He had a touchdown and just didn't look the ball in. It'll be fourth down. Third and short in college football today. You see so much more pass than you used to. The offense stays aggressive. And I think they stay aggressive because they know they're in field goal range. They got that three in their back pocket. It's fourth down and they'll try the field goal. Absolutely perfect.
So the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away after putting up a field goal. Let's see what the defense can do. Here he comes from inside his own five. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. Tennessee ready to go to work the big orange offense on the field. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. Looking to buy time. He was able to squirt free and pick up a few and avoid a negative play there. Welcome to the frustrating reality of college football. Like, the guy at the quarterback spot, he can just do that. Pull it down, get positive yards, makes the defense have to account for him every single play. And the ball's headed quickly to the line. his big tight end. Ball's at the 27. His offense facing a third and long. 25. Back to throw. It's Iamaleava. Pocket starts to collapse. That pass is well off target. He got hit as he was trying to throw, and they can't convert on third down. Oh, you know what time it is when the defense gets that stop on third down. Fist up in the air. Nice job getting to the quarterback, putting some pressure on him, hitting him, forcing the incompletion. Fourth down, baby. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Bringing it back, it's Coleman. That nifty return sets up the offense and negates some of the yardage on the punt. Here comes the Bulldog offense back onto the field. They're going to have to be more aggressive in this drive. You can't expect to win this one, David, kicking field goals. No, especially when you're trailing. you got to have a little more urgency and maybe a little more aggressiveness, Jesse. And field goals are not going to get it done down the stretch. Yeah, you're going to have to take some shots, no doubt. Bottom line, when plays present themselves, you just simply got to make it. Second and ten after the previous play. He's looking to throw. Quickly out to the tight end. Nice pick up there. Gets him the first down and sets him up at the 45-yard line. And that's why QBs love their tight ends so much, right? Especially when they're athletic, because they make short throws turn into long gains. Because of his ability after the catch, it's so unique and special. He is dominant in this offense. Now a first down from the 45-yard line. Used the play fake, now to throw. And the quarterback is snowed under. Play action pass success has a lot to do with selling that fake. You could tell defense was not buying it. Got in the backfield, got the big play. That's the last thing you want as an offense. A negative play, a sack on first down off the play fake oh he's going to try to hit him over the top and the pass is incomplete thanks to a big hit they've already punted four times in this game and they're about to run the guy out there for a fifth time if they don't pick up the first down here oh he wants it all and trying to put points on the board on third down. Now they're staring at fourth down. And how loud is it in this building? This is crazy. This, these fans are going absolutely nuts. And I used to love when the fans got involved, and I'm on defense, because it messes with the snap count. It messes with the communication, and it can really rattle an offense. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. The Volunteer offense is back, and they hope it's touchdown time in Tennessee. 
The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. They just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. And the Volunteers want to crank the tempo. Off play action on first down. Good job to avoid the negative play and just get rid of that thing. They'll try again on second down after the incompletion. They'll go to the ground. They'll give him a couple that leaves him with third and eight. They line up and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Looking for a man. It's Iamaleava. Unloads to the wideout. Wide open downfield. Oh, and the defense in chase mode, and they finally get him down at the 35. Well, we know this guy is special, and because of that, his quarterback is looking to him on critical down and distances. There on that third down, there was no question. It wouldn't have mattered if he was single covered, double covered, man zone. That's where he was going with it, and the big-time playmaker outside picks up the first. We've been treated to an aerial show by these two guys so far as you check out their numbers. One more period to go and we'll see just how much fight they've got left in them. The Vols are rolling down the field. Quickly to the tight end. And they pick up just a few on that completion. They flexed out that tight end a little bit, and you know the tight end's always open. Always open. Quarterback's best friend. And this guy's a problem, Reese. He's a matchup problem because he's too big for DBs to cover, and he's too fast for linebackers to cover. He's showing you his athleticism there. And that's going to fall to the ground incomplete. That was a physical matchup there. Third down coming. I'll tell you what, that was a lightning fast decision. You could tell he knew what he wanted to do right away, makes the decision, but maybe his footwork wasn't a little bit good and the pass wasn't where he wanted to put that thing. I know that. Couldn't find his man last time, and that leaves him with a third and six. The give to the running back from the shotgun. He's got enough for the first down. They'll spot him at the 24-yard line. Everything going the offense's way. They're trying to ice this game late. They've got a really nice lead, so you just want to run the ball, high percentage throws, and keep the chains moving, and they're doing that. This has been a beautiful drive to watch. Offense continues to stay in a nice rhythm here late. Back to pass. It's Iamaleava. The sweet feet by a little time. And a nice pickup on the run and gets down to avoid contact. These quarterbacks are nightmares to play. Pretty good coverage on the outside. Man to man. Nobody looking at the quarterback. He takes off. He doesn't look like a quarterback. Looks like a running back. Chews up yards. Gets way down the field and makes a big play for this offense. The Volunteers have it in scoring position on first and goal. They're trying to slam it in. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. It's going to be tough sledding for the offense here. They're trying to ice this game by running the football and leading the clock. They've got a pretty good lead here late in the game, but the defense knows the run's coming, right? So they're going to be loading the line of scrimmage, getting stops like what they just did. It'll be interesting to see what the offense does on this next one. He'll run it to the right here and try to get it into the end zone. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Volunteers! And the offense continues to run the football. The second rushing touchdown from the running back. The offensive line, Peyton Holes, continue to feed this man the ball.
PAT unit on the field. And the extra point splits the uprights, and they're up a full three touchdowns, a 21-point cushion in the fourth. Kickoff team lining up to send this one away. Here's the return from inside his tent. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Here comes the Mississippi State offense ready to attack. They're trying to get to it. And the quarterback is knocked down back at the 13. We've seen throughout the course of the season, defenses have had their hands full with this quarterback. He's simply one of the best in the country. But what can you say about this defense here today? They have gotten after him, registering multiple sacks, and they've never let him get into a rhythm. So just how aggressive can they afford to be as they snap it on second and long from the 13? Looking downfield, it's Shapen. Makes the grab on the left. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. Guys out of the backfield now, it's not just run the ball downhill anymore. You got to be versatile. I got to be able to trust you in the pass game, and I got to be able to throw you the football, and you can do that right there. I know you're going to catch it, and I can depend on you. Mississippi State going up tempo. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Stands in and takes the hit. Brings it in down the left side. He found plenty of room, and he gets it to the 39-yard line. You know, you just can't coach toughness in quarterbacks. This guy's been sacked multiple times in this one, and on that last play, he gets drilled again, but he delivers a strike. I'll tell you what, this, this guy's going to be in an ice bath after the game. The Bulldogs will line it up on first and ten. Use the play fake. Now to throw. And the defense picks up a sack, getting the quarterback down at the 44. It's pretty obvious. This defense came into this one knowing they were going to have to play a complete game until there were zeros on the clock, especially against this quarterback. You cannot take your foot off the gas. And that's exactly what they're doing here. Late in the fourth quarter, they're still bringing it, and they get another sack. They'll go empty. Five wide receivers on second and 15. He's looking to throw. Pressure's there, and he lets it go. And the ball is picked off. Trying to take it back. Inside the 10. And it's going to be a pick six. Touchdown, Tennessee. What an incredible individual effort by that big fella there. And, Dave, you know, it's funny. I've been hearing more and more about how these D linemen are the best athletes on the field. What do you think? I present to you Exhibit A. Look at the big fella. Not only does he make the catch. Okay, so I can be a DB. I can be a wide receiver. I can catch it. I got the ball in my hands. Guess what else I am? I'm a running back. I take that thing all the way back to the house. Exhibit A, the best athletes on the football field. Ready to try the point after. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. They're lining up to kick it off after the pick six, and that defense will come out feeling it. On the run from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. The Mississippi State offense headed back to the field to go to work. He'll come out throwing on first down. Blasted as he lets it go. Hit hard just as he released it on first down and just couldn't get it to the receiver. This defense has just been all over this guy all game long, under pressure. They're finding a way to get to him and affect his rhythm. Of course, they have an interception in this game. That's why they've got a big lead here in the fourth quarter. This guy has never gotten into a rhythm. Looking to pass. It's Shapen. And 
and he dropped it. It looked for all the world like that would be a catch, and he just got too excited. It's a nice adjustment by the defense here. With a big lead in the game, you're putting extra DBs on the field, knowing the offense has to throw to get back in this one in the fourth quarter. So your best cover guys on the field, and they force an incompletion on the last one. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. Almost intercepted. It'll fall incomplete. The defense almost came up with a turnover. And that's just the kind of game it's been for this quarterback in this offense. You got a great game plan all week long. You're watching it throughout practice. You think you're going to have a chance to light up the scoreboard, but they're just not able to hook up. You got to give this defense a ton of credit. They've done a great job in coverage. They've been breaking on passes. They've had their number, and that's why they're leading by as much as they are. Fair catch called for and made. Tennessee ready to go to work the big orange offense on the field. Here's the handoff. They pick up half of it. It'll be second and five. I like this guy as a running back because he can run between the tackles and he can also go outside. He can really do it all. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. They'll put the tight end in motion. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. And he'll pick up the first down after a tough run there. Big reason why his team has the lead right now late is because of his performance running the football. Well over 100 yards in this game. They knew that they were going to have to really put a lot of pressure on him. He'd have to shoulder the load, and he has delivered for his offense all game long. Looking for a crease, it's Sampson. And he's almost to that first down marker there, saying he's a little bit short. They might want to bring out the sticks and measure, but it looks as if he'll be just short of the first down. This offense has a second down play. The run from the shotgun. And the balls get it past the sticks. You got to have short area quickness. That running back there doing what it takes to make sure he got that first down. And the volunteers are flying down the field. From the gun, running back gets the give. And he found plenty of running room on that one before the defense was finally able to get him down. How nice is it as a play caller when you've got a running back as good as this guy, right? I mean, you can just dial up conservative run calls. Nothing has to be too tricky, too fancy. You just know he's going to go make good things happen. Even when it's not blocked properly, he is still finding ways to rip off long runs. This guy now has over one. Touchdown, ball! And the route is on. And this always is the debate of where you fall. It's your job to stop me or I should get conserved. Because this offense obviously has had themselves a day. And apparently, their day's not over. They're going to continue to keep scoring. And the defense better do something about it. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And it was punctuated by an 11-yard run for the score. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. And he takes this from inside the five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Here comes the Bulldog offense back onto the field. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here, Palmer. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. Now on first and 10 from the 29. Oh, 
He's looking to throw it. Snagged in the middle. It's Mosley. Second and short now after that completion. Dropping back. It's Shapen. Back open in the middle. Makes the grab, and it's enough for the first down before he's dragged to the ground. Listen, running backs are not just running backs anymore. You're going to be a wide receiver in today's football. And a great job sneaking out of the backfield, getting the football, letting them get some positive yards. And the Bulldogs come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Looking to throw it again. Fires to the wideout. Can't quite make the connection there. Might have led him a little too much. At this point in the game in the fourth quarter, it is going to be tough for this offense to get some completions here because now, trailing by this much, the defense is expecting pass and they're putting a whole bunch of... Ex and let's hold on just a minute here as the officials are going to have a second look. So after reviewing the undisputable video evidence, the replay booth has decided to overturn the call. Wants to throw on first down. Unloads it left. It's complete. Makes the grab defense right there, and they are set up at the 14. Don't you just love the big boys? When the big boys up front do their job and create a great pocket, and the quarterback has time now to survey the field and take shots down the field and make huge plays. From the 14-yard line, it's first and 10. Quarterback on the keeper. A seven-yard pickup. It'll be second and three. Well, he chews up yards. Now, he, that was really quick, really decisive. Design quarterback runs are, are very difficult to stop, and you could tell he's got some ability to make big plays. And thank goodness they got him on the ground, and it wasn't a bigger play than it could have been. It'll be second down, and remember, they can pick up a first without scoring. He's got it. They'll mark him down at the two. The excellent execution on that throw and catch. These routes have some reads and adaptability built in, and the big fella found that cushion and made the play. Man, it's so awesome how much offenses have evolved. They know exactly what they're getting, where to sit down, quarterback, tight end, on the same page, gets the first down. The give. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Yeah, and I, and I love running the football down the red zone. You've got to be able to do it. First down, obviously, is the right down to do it. But now, then it's the options a little bit more of second down after that loss of yards play. Can the D deny them on second and goal? To the air. It's Shapen. Coming after him. Nowhere close on that one as he got drilled trying to deliver the football, and now they face third down. This offensive line is not going to like watching the film back uh, tomorrow when they get the opportunity because they have gotten beat time and time again up front, especially in passing situations. All of the hits, all of the sacks that this quarterback has taken is the biggest reason why they're going to lose this game. He wants it all. And he can't find his man in the end zone as he was trying to pay off this red zone chance. And it's just been that kind of day for this quarterback in this offense, guys. They have never been able to get into a rhythm throwing the football. Timing's been off. Accuracy hasn't been great. We've seen some drops. Just not in sync. And that's why they find themselves trailing by a lot right here late in the game. And this one splits the uprights. And the field goal was good. They get three on the board, but it really doesn't matter much in terms of the deficit. And I know a lot of people are scratching their heads why they try to kick that field goal. You're in the fourth quarter. You're down a boatload of points. A field goal isn't going to do it. If you want to win this game, you need touchdowns. I would anticipate for every possession they get from here on out, man, you've got to be way more aggressive. After putting three on the board, the kickoff unit ready to go. He'll bring it back from inside his spot. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The volunteer offense is back, and they hope it's touchdown time in Tennessee. 
on the move. It's Sampson. They knock him down, but not before he gets it out to the 21-yard line, pick up a four. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. The handoff keep working on that clock. Defense there to stop him after a gain of one to the 22. They'll need to convert this third down from their own 22 to get this drive jump started. They'll try the run. Slammed to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. This guy's been special today. Coming into this one, they thought they had an opportunity really to get him going, running the football, and he has delivered. You've seen the speed, the vision, his ability to break tackles. Well over 100 rushing yards in this game, and that's why they have a nice lead here late. The Vols will snap it on first and ten. Out of the gun, the give to the back. They get him stopped at the 32. That's a gain of four. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. football with the run they finally get him on the ground but the big running play moves to change for the first down here's this offense with a fresh set of downs from the gun the running back has it Make the stop at the 40, but he's got 15 yards on that one and a first down. Offense has a huge lead right now in the fourth quarter, and they're just going to run this football to try to ice the game, being more dominant, being more physical at the point of attack. They have declared their intentions on this drive, keeping it on the ground. It's first and 10 again. Hand off from the gun. Crossing the 30, he's got a lane. Just making a play, getting it to the 23-yard line. It'll be first down. And listen, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I, I mean, I love teams that commit to the run, and when it's successful, keep running the rock. Yeah, David, I, I think this offensive line right now, they've got a lather going. They're, they're really sort of getting in the groove and flow of this game. They're just getting tremendous push at the point of attack. It seems like every single time they decide to run the ball. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. And I'm a fan of this, man. Run the football, eat the clock. We got the lead. This offense has put together a nice day, man. Like, just balance, rhythm, timing, play calling. Everything has worked. That's why they built this lead. They've had a great day today. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. The give from the gun. And after they get him on the ground, that's going to do it.